In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to obtain legally binding electronic signatures for multiple parties on a single document. Here I've got my example document. It's a real estate engagement contract. I'm going to be using .q, which means that no software download will be necessary by any of the parties. There is a handy free optional software I have installed here, the .q on-ramp. It can let you print or scan files directly to .q. So if I print to the docu printer, I will just enter in my account information. And choose a document title. This will ensure the best fidelity of my document, but it's not necessary for using docq. Any electronic document that you have, you can upload directly to docq.com. So the document opens up immediately here in the docq viewer and I can use some of the annotation tools to go ahead and fill out this contract. I won't fill out the entire thing but just as an example I can use the free text tool. It's the first tool available on, under the markup menu. Click once on the tool and then click on the document to begin typing. I will be demonstrating a few of the other annotation tools available in the .q editor, such as sticky notes, if you need to add some information about the contract. Another really handy tool is a highlighter tool, if you need to call out certain text. DocQ also has some drawing tools. You can use a line tool, circle tool, or rectangle tool. As an example, if you had a certain paragraph that you really wanted to stand out. On the right hand side of the screen, you can select your colors. You can set colors for border or fill colors if you wanted to black out certain information. With the stamp tool, I can use a couple of pre-made stamps that DocQ has, or if you click Browse on the right, you can upload an image from your computer. So for this example, I'm going to upload a letterhead that I want to put at the top of my contract. You can move this toolbar down if you need to. And I'll just resize the image and move it to place it where I want it. I also want to make this logo a hyperlink when it's downloaded as a PDF. So I can use the hyperlink tool and just drag the corners over the logo and I can select my target URL over here on the right. The next thing I need to add is a signature field. Also in the markup menu, the very last option is a signature line. I could use this tool to sign the document myself or to send it to a recipient to sign. Click send. and enter in the email addresses or the DocQ user IDs if they've already signed up for DocQ. For this example, I'm going to demonstrate sending to an email address that already has signed up for DocQ and one that is not currently registered with DocQ. Enter in the subject and message that will come through in the email. And you can also specify permissions here on the right if you had a more secure document that you didn't want users to be able to print or download. If you're sending to multiple people, you can choose one-to-one -one or one-to-many. I want to do one-to-many so that everyone's working on the same document. So here is one of the email addresses that I sent to. And this email address actually is already registered with .q. 
So it's going to be just a few simple clicks to go ahead and sign this contract. Just click on the link in the email to open up the document. I can see that all of the annotations are correct. Scroll through, agree to the document, just double click to sign. Since I've already saved my signature in DocQ, all I have to do is click apply. And it's verified. So I can go ahead and remember to save it. Now let me log into the email address that is not currently signed up for DocQ just so I can show how easy the sign-up process is. Again, just click on the link in the email, opens up the document, and I can scroll through to where I need to sign. Before I can sign, just need to establish the identity with a couple of pieces of information. I like specifying the username and entering my first and last name. and I can go ahead and use my mouse to sign my name. This signature will be a visual representation of the .Q verified digital signature. Although all signatures are backed by the .Q certificate authority, no special software or hardware is required to sign or view this document. Click apply and I can see both signatures are now verified. Again, remember to save. If I log back into the original account that sent this form from the MyDocs portion, I can just select View to open up the document. I can scroll down and see that my recipients have already signed it. So I will just click to add my own signature. In accordance with the eSign Act passed by Congress as well as the Uniform Electronic Transactions Act of 1999, a signature through .Q shares the same legal standing as a written signature on paper and is actually much more secure because any attempts to modify the document will immediately invalidate the signature. Click apply and I can now print this off if I need to or just save it for future use. If I download it, let me show what it looks like in Reader. I can see that all of my annotations have downloaded correctly. Let me verify the hyperlink. Adobe Reader gives a warning message. Hyperlink works correctly. I can scroll down to see the signatures. And you'll notice the signature panel at the top. You can get more information about the signatures. If you hover over, it says signature verified. If you click on the link, this will take you to a page in .Q where you can get more information about the signer identity and the signature information. If you have the rights to this document, you can click view file at the time of signature to see the revision history. Notice the revision history on the right. If you click on the last one, it'll take you to the live version. So again, I started from a simple Word document that I used as a kind of a template to create this contract. DocQ is actually capable of saving any kind of document as a template as well. Let's say that I had to have this contract filled out and signed every time I got a new client. I can save it as a template in DocQ and create a new contract by filling in new information anytime I needed it. This can save a lot of money if the process is that these documents are currently printed out and overnighted to each other, and it simplifies a process that can be kind of confusing if you're looking at faxing contract between multiple parties. Thanks for watching. Feel free and leave comments with any questions, and feel free and sign up for a free account at docq.com.